distributed community gallery this date will show the the year and the month and the date of which this data is the latest there's this thing called a master data which you can actually manipulate to see all the lessons in the community gallery of sls so the community gallery will look something like this so how can you use this is first you look at the instructions it says to clear all so you come here you follow the instructions you clear all then after that you select the subject that you want so in this particular example i'm going to choose science let me try that again clear all and then science because i'm trying to look for primary school materials and let's say you you can again clear all and then you select the primary six and primary five let's say I, i'm interested in these two levels and you can see that this is the the lesson sorted by the month feature so these are the very old lessons of which then you scroll to the bottom then you will see the the latest lesson now you can do the same in SLS there is no um, there's no error in data because uh, I can do the same thing so I can come here I can do a science and then I can select the primary five primary six and then I have to apply the filter and then you can see that this will then be showing the same results uh, but they are because the difficulty in SLS now is currently is showing only 12 results so you want to you want to look through all of them one by one it's not so easy you need to actually click on the progress forward button to look at all the other 208 so you need to also sort by latest of which then this will show the latest but not the not the oldest so uh, this excel spreadsheet or google sheet actually can give you the same result so you can see that this is the latest lesson on p5 electric toys and it is showing up in sls in a similar way so the next one is p6 forces so p6 forces so you can see that there is a match one for one now the advantage of such a thing is you can now select all this content you can do a control you can do a you know, control A, control C, and then you can mass email your your teachers in, in your department to look at the lessons and plan it into the the you know could be could be things that's to get ideas uh, on how to enact these lessons. Then you can actually click on this lesson and then it will bring you to the lesson of which then you need to copy into your drive and then you can start editing. So I hope this a quick video will explain some of the usage of this particular e-catalog